entire experience of being over there is a fairy tale, uh, complete with lots of snow, like most good fairy tales, uh, princes and princesses. We were treated like royalty when our plane arrived in Stockholm on December 4th. The pilot got on and announced to everyone that there was a Nobel laureate on the plane. Would they please stay in their seats uh, while he and his wife deplane? Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, this privilege does not last the whole rest of your life. <laughs> Alas, I'm still looking over my shoulder for my yeah. limousine, but it's not there since yeah. we got back. Yeah. But the ceremony, as you saw, is pretty amazing. And there are two white tie banquets, the uh, Nobel banquet for almost 1,500 people, uh, which is absolutely re remarkable. There's a table of honor down the center with the dignitaries and the Nobel laureates sitting at it. And then the following night, there's another uh, white tie banquet at the Royal Palace, hosted by the king and queen, as is the Nobel banquet, also white tie. That's only 150 people, all at one table. The table is so long, you virtually can't see the end of it. This is where I sat between the two princesses, uh, the uh, uh, crown princess, Victoria, uh, and her s younger sister. Uh, and wow, that was pretty heady. My wife sat between the prime minister uh, and one of the princes uh, somewhere else on the other side. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just... And she okay. was on my arm walking into the room, I want you to know. Something happened in your family. Oh, involved. golly. Someone who was not yet a member of your family? Yes, this is true. Uh, so the night before the Nobel ceremony, uh, I was hosting a private dinner for sort of my entourage, my whole family and a few good friends, and we're in this beautiful private room overlooking the water. Uh, it's snowing outside, and my, all five of my children were there. My younger daughter, Mara, uh, who you know, was 41 at the time, her boyfriend is there. They've been together five years, and he comes uh, to me and says, can we step outside? And I could see he was a little, uh, a little bit nervous. Uh, so we stepped outside, and he haltingly, which is not his usual style, basically asked me for my permission to ask for Mara's hand in marriage. Uh, I didn't really know people did that anymore. Uh, so as I was just telling a group over lunch, uh, you know, I thought about it for a minute, and I, uh, I said to myself, well, first of all, I like them. Second of all, they've been together for five years. And third, she's not getting any younger. <laughs> So I... Uh, Swift reasoning like that is what right. wins the Nobel Prize. <laughs> right. This is the boy who broke his mother's heart because she only wanted you to become a doctor. Only right? thing she And wanted. I'm sure she wasn't that thrilled when you deviated into a research career. And then you stuck with it through thick and through thin and through discovery and discovery and discovery. You won uh, the, the status as a beloved member of your community for the way you've supported the lives of others. You didn't do it so that you'd be able to have the king and queen fawn all over you. But at the end of the day, a magic thing happened to you. This right. has been a great thing for Duke to have you, Bob. You've just been such a great member of our community. Well, thanks. Thank you very much. Hello there. Thank you.